Well, Zimbabwe's already poor record of human rights violations continues to deteriorate further and although political and media freedom is enshrined in the country's constitution, recent developments have revealed a systemic, deliberate and evident infringement on these liberties. That's according to the latest report by the Zimbabwe Peace Project. The non-governmental organization further recorded that the majority of human rights cases were perpetrated by the governing ZANU-PF party. The party is set to be responsible for 51% of the violations, followed by the Zimbabwe Republic Police at 28%. Now fears are growing that this record will get worse as the 2023 election season draws near. The Citizens' Coalition for Change is arguably the country's largest opposition political party. On numerous occasions, its leader Nelson Chamisa has been barred by the Zimbabwe Republic Police from addressing his supporters. This is in direct violation of the rights to the enjoyment of the freedom of assembly and association. According to a latest report released by the Zimbabwe Peace Project, the police deliberately infringed on the liberties of citizens, mainly from the opposition political parties. They have tried to block me from accessing the rural areas. I've been to Uzumba Maramba and I was shocked. They told me they are being beaten and they have never enjoyed independence since 1980. They restrict us from freely voting. If Tongo Gara or Herbert Chitepo or Lookout Masuku or Joshua Nkomo were to rise today, they would struggle to understand why they fought for the liberation of this country. Because what they fought for is one man. One foot. The report further notes systematic and evident manipulation of the judiciary system by the ZANU PF government to repress and violate the rights of opposition party supporters. Job Sikala, Godfrey Sitole, and 14 other opposition members are still incarcerated and being denied bail for more than two months. Meanwhile, the Zimbabwean government has denied the accusations and says it has implemented several reforms to ensure the enjoyment of rights. My government has adequate constitutional and legislative frameworks to protect the rights and freedoms of human rights defenders. Some human rights defenders in Zimbabwe have, during the COVID lockdown period, illegally gathered crowds without requisite clearances and held demonstrations in violation of COVID-19 regulations. Ziambi further denied that the government was responsible for some reported cases of abductions and torture, but went on to accuse the opposition party of smearing the Mnangagwa-led government. There have been numerous reports of abductions made by political activists from opposition parties during the tenure of the Second Republic. Though these reports have been conveyed to the public, the target audience for them are selected foreign missions in, this, in our country, the intention being to influence the attitude of their governments towards Zimbabwe. The three female opposition activists are currently undergoing trial, accused of faking the abductions. Other victims of arbitrary arrest and detention cited in the report include journalists, human rights defenders, politicians and their supporters. Kyle Kumalo, SABC News.